Hello everyone, it's Francesco here. And in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is running over Proud for Mac. And for those who don't know, Proud is a task management application. Uh, it's really perfected for iOS at the moment. So they have an iOS application. It launched probably almost shy to six to 12 months ago. Um, I won't give, what, what I will do is actually include the review I did uh, on iPhone in both of the description. And in this video, it will pop up somewhere on the page. So you can actually go and check that out. But essentially, that proud experience has just been replicated for Mac. Um, and as you can see, when you enter and open the new application, which is, just to let you know, available on Mac App Store, um, and it's available for $7.99, which you might find a quite expensive application, but uh, against some of the other task managers out there uh, that charge, you know, that for a good looking one, that's not bad for a Mac. Um, as we get started, we'll go through main, mainly the core features and just demonstrate why it can be useful and what other flaws it might have. So as you can see here, um, I've started uh, an account. This is the list section here. So once you tap that, you get an initial my goal section or my goals. You can actually edit this later on, but as you can see, the main and core list start here. Now you can sync this with iCloud so that your proud events on your uh, iPhone actually sync with this, which would be the, the right thing to do. But in this case, I've just created some basics. So they actually predetermine some um, lists to get you started, things like you know onboarding, which is quite nice. Um, but essentially, all you have to do is uh, tip on, tap on one, and to create a new task, press enter. So at any given time, you can press enter and a new task will pop up. It can either go underneath or above, which is great. Uh, and you can actually create lists too. So for example, if I just put Twitter in here and made a subtask, uh, you can do that by hitting Command and Enter. And it actually creates that into a list. So for example, uh, tweet about proud. Ooh, proud. Right, and then etc. etc. you can build onto that list. These lists are quite nice because obviously they serve as a very useful way to you know, view uh, your list at any given time with this number here, it's quite valuable. As you can see here, you get reminders. Um, I'll explain this feature in a second. It's one of the superpowers inside this. Um, but what you can do with each of your tasks is actually assign a specific reminder to it. So if you right click and hit reminder, um, you can actually go and uh, you, know, you can say, I'll do this in 15 minutes. And what happens, it will come up uh, in 15 minutes time. Uh, let's say I wanted to do it with Feed the Cat. Let's say I'm doing that uh, in one hour. Um, that will move from the lists over to here and will obviously almost like, you know, bring that down into a clear list of what actions you have next. As you can see here, there's also a do now section. So I'm gonna hit do now. And what will happen is once you do that, they'll have a list for you to do now and whatever's in that list, it will still appear. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing you can do is when you complete tasks on Proud for Mac, uh, one thing that I struggled with was actually finding out how you actually complete tasks. All you do is press space on each one. And as you can see, a sort of crazy sound comes up of someone shouting, you've done it, or some motivational message. They actually crowdsourced all those uh, voices and I'm actually featured in it, which is quite cool. Uh, so they did that uh, very nicely. The, the team behind Proud are very two smart individuals very marketing focused and they do understand how um, to make a great product too so as you can see in this reminder section you've got all of the outline but what's this tick over here it is actually what you've done uh, and it actually breaks it down based on your history ongoing and as you can see what's really nice and what i really like about crown is that you actually can see your seven day progress uh, you can actually see a chart of you know, it's not a very accurate chart. It's not like one that gives you reporting, but it's one of those sort of general charts that really give you a sort of overview of how you're doing, how many tasks you've completed. So what's nice is you can actually go back into all of these tasks and actually see specifically when you did them, which is really valuable. So that's one of the superpowers to start you off with, which is called history. Um, one thing over here, so once you hit here, you can actually change your goals. So once you tap into that section um, and it doesn't have a select section, so you just have to do that, you could potentially go, you know, my goal is this, 
um, uh, feed cats, free 200 cat, 100 cats by 2016. I don't know what your goal is, but essentially it gives you that opportunity for whenever you're creating lists to sort of see your outline goals, which is very beneficial. Over on here, the superpower is something very cool. Uh, you can actually uh, choose how much time you want to focus on a task. You can actually assign it, so it's almost like the Pomodoro timer. So you want to focus for 25 minutes and relax for five. Oh, not 510, that's a long time. Uh, if you press that plus button in the middle, it'll almost give you a countdown, which is very cool. Um, I like the way it does that. Um, and you obviously, you can come back to it and you can hear all of the notifications when it goes off. And uh, all you do there is to stop it is you just hit that center and it will stop. One thing, one of the superpowers over here is obviously the um, seven day progress, but they also have a list of other ones. They have de-stress, which is quite cool. So you can choose time to de-stress. Basically, it takes over your entire computer for two minutes. It'll block out, uh, allow you to breathe out um, and breathe in and give you some time. Um, and actually blocks out from doing any activity. So if I click on here, I can't get anything. But if I click stop there, it recognizes that there, which is quite cool. Uh, and you can do that for up to 10 minutes, which is nice. Um, the nice thing is give me more time. So for example, if here you're like, uh, so, sorry, here in the reminders, if you're like, oh god i can't complete all of these tasks uh, or you know bowling sounds more appealing in the next hour then all you have to do is hit superpowers and hit two hours forward and as you can see it pushes everything two hours more forward uh, and will notify you at the relevant time you can also do that for uh, till next week let's say you go on holiday uh, which is really cool one thing you can do is time travel uh, that's really cool let's say what you can do in that history section is hit beginning of time and you can actually go back all the way specifically um, all of your tasks for that one year ago what were you doing that's useful for potentially you know organizing anything as you go along there's a couple of other things here so as you add stuff so for example i'm just going to enter and add feed uh, 20 cats today once you've added that, you can actually add a subtask. As I said, you can edit the title. You can move up and down by using the uh, command and up and down keys. You can cut it, you can remove it. You can move to organize it, uh, which is quite useful. Um, and then you can also obviously set the reminders. The reminders are very good. Uh, they do pop up when and when you want them. You can always pin it to the top too. So uh, using A will actually, uh, oh, sorry. Oh no, I've just, okay, so feed one of the cats. Let me just get that one up. And if I click A on that one, it will always be at the top, which is quite cool. The only other thing here that you can do is preferences. And this is really how you can go deep with Proud. So as you can see, you can actually set the start day when, what time your day ends, uh, apparently I'm 3 a.m. Uh, afternoon is 6 p.m. and etc. evening. That's useful for the reminders in case you wanted a generic reminder like this evening, it just skips on. So you know to know when your evening starts. My evening starts like six o'clock. It's, it's quite accurate anyway when you set up. The week, uh, the weekend starts on a Saturday, Monday, um, and then you know you can have a really easy way. So for example, you can actually set and predetermine the later today period and the Sunday period uh, on here. So you can actually change that specifically so that you don't you know have to be stuck with two hours later. It could be just one hour later. Um, so sync. Uh, this is where you can set up your iCloud data. I will enable it at a given time. I didn't click the option. Uh, but as you can see, you can actually sync it with your iPad, iPhone, and Apple Watch, which is cool. Over here, you can actually enable notifications that you can actually, you know, dose down the sound and the app badge is on how many tasks you've got uh, and things like that. You can get morning reports uh, as you set up and hourly reminders and any focus and relax notifications. Um, there's also a reminders, uh, you know, can catch reminders from the default reminders list. So you can actually integrate that with something you've already got existing, which is cool. Uh, you actually have the ability to, you know, add your first name, um, high subtask with reminders and all of these sort of tweaky things here. So actually check this section out if you want to go a bit deeper. You can change um, your style. Uh, there's multiple styles here. There's some crazy ones. Uh, def definitely recommend Moulin Rouge, uh, pink mono color. Uh, that's quite a funny one. Over here, you can actually see, as I said, the community voices. You can see Siri uh, reactions to things, which is cool. 
uh, you can change Syrian sound and sort of get a real personalized experience. And the only other thing you can do is send back feedback. So if you're getting continuous feedback from people, then that's useful. As I said, it can be stretched out um, and it's very useful when it is, because obviously when you want to focus in on it or you're dumping your tasks in for the day, but you can also add tasks up here. You can actually um, add anything and get help as well, which is quite cool. Um, but apart from that, that's all of the main features of Proud for Mac. Uh, it's a great application. It's, as I said, it's very simple. Uh, it's very simple. It's nothing too detailed. So I recommend it for any designers or creatives, any entrepreneurial types that sort of want to have like a zen -y sort of experience. Uh, but anyway, I hope this video helps you make the decision on whether you will be using it. So anyway, guys, thank you very much. Please do subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. Um, I'm going to be doing review videos and also in-depth videos like this where you can actually choose a product or go through a product. So uh, please do subscribe. As I do say, you will get the latest videos every week. I do two a week or so, um, and you'll get the best videos there. And you can also you know, add me on Twitter. If you found this video useful, if you're wanting to get in touch with me, I reply to every single tweet, every single email at Francesco D underscore A L E S. And I'm looking forward to interacting with you. But anyway, uh, let me know if you choose Matt Proud for Matt in the comments else and uh, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Yeah.